All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> I know it's been a while. Um, you know, as you know, my wife left me last year, so I haven't been necessarily too motivated to do much with my fish tank or my palm trees or anything, but uh, look at this. You do not realize how much work this was and where I'm coming from. So, as you can see, there's hair algae and bryopsis all over the tank. Now there is a sea hair in there. I'm not sure how much damage it's gonna do, but sometimes they will eat bryopsis if we get lucky. It's a fresh sea hair I just bought, thanks to Red at the Coral Reef Shop. Uh, obviously my blue tang doesn't touch any of that stuff, but uh, tank's doing pretty good. Um, believe it or not, for the first last week for the first time in three months, four months actually, I did a water change. That's how much I was letting letting things go. Um, so what I did was I bought some salt again and I uh, got it on sale and I did a 50% water change. Uh, oh, and my nitrates were 40. That's how much I let the tank go. Nitrates were 40. So not good. Not good for everybody's health and well-being, especially the corals. Corals were not happy. So I did a water change, excuse me, and then this week I did another 30% water change. So I've basically replenished all the nutrients in the tank because the corals were sucking up everything. And as you can tell, my acanthophilia, my donut coral is massive. Since I've done the water changes, this coral is back open and puffy again. So is my trachophilia. So that's a good sign. That means that things are, are looking good in the tank when it comes to that. Um, so yeehaw, finally, one person asked me about dosing. Dosing on an all-in-one, you can do it. So it's not the prettiest. I've got a two little fishies dosing tube holder on the back side, holds four tubes. Uh, five would be actually better, but it holds four. So uh, it is left to right, uh, no pox, calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, all red sea. And it goes just into the chamber, no big deal. What I got going on, I know the fish are not gonna be happy that I'm going under the tank, they hate that. I have a Jabao or j -cod, whatever you wanna call it. This one's called a j -cod or j -cod. This is an auto dosing pump, it's a five pump. I got it from Amazon, uh, 130 bucks, super cheap. I've had it for a year, it works perfect. And what I love is I love Red Sea products. I love how I can just literally dose right out of the bottles. So I'm using all Red Sea, Calcium, magnesium, alkalinity uh, products and no pox for the, uh, for the nitrates and phosphates. And uh, that's how we do it with an all-in-one. Really, really simple. Really, really simple. Um, the other thing is I use the Bubble Magnus Mini Q skimmer. Now it's undersized for this tank. What I do love is the fact that it plugs in with USB so it frees up a spot on my uh, power bar. So I have ordered from Reef Supplies Canada, which is our like our BRS of Canada. I have ordered a second Bubble Magus and it is going to go right there. So I'm going to have one skimmer per chamber and that is going to double my nutrient reduction in the tank and also add to the pH, which is very, very important. So that's good. That's coming up this week uh, happening. Uh, they're very cheap too. They're like 90 bucks. They're super easy to clean. They're super easy to, to get at. Uh, like I said, it frees up a spot on your power bar because they can use a USB plug-in. So that's happening. Um, everything else is doing good. But yeah, look at the bryopsis. It's terrible. So hopefully, uh, I actually ordered some fluconazole today on Amazon. Maybe I'll do a video on that next week when it comes in. We'll see. Uh, it's, it's the Canadian version of fluconazole. We'll see how it does. Um, if, uh, we can get rid of some of this bryopsis, how it works now that my nitrates, and my phosphates are back down. So looking good. There's Tony Hawk. What a great fish. Glowfish tanks doing good. AI prime 16 HD on a freshwater tank. Super overkill. The man doesn't make the glowfish pop. They look so good. Great little fish. I bought them for my kids. Super simple, no plants or nothing. Just a nice fluorescent tank. So that's working really well. Uh, oh, got some news I wanna to share to you guys. I'm, uh, I'm 17 pounds down. 
and weight in the last two months since New Year's. Um, I used to be a world-class athlete. I gained a bunch of weight after I got married. I was drinking too much beer. Finally, I had enough. Changed my diet, changed my drinking regimen, and I'm 17 pounds down. So I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. And uh, it was time to spend some money on the fish tank. So 400 bucks I spent on this fish tank in the last, last two weeks. It adds up quick. Salt's 100 bucks. Some snails and a sea hare is 100 bucks. And then a skimmer is 100 bucks. And then some nitrate uh, re reactions, or uh, sorry, some reagents for the HANA. A couple other things, 400 bucks. But it was time the tank needed it. So hopefully everything's good. And uh, yeah, do a video next week on the flucanazole. We'll see how it works up here in Canada. Thanks for watching.